Tom Walker pushed Meg over the edge, released new photos Spiller's collaboration with Kate at Christmas concert. Tom Walker recently posted a shocking photo on social media. The photo has attracted millions of people. It captures him and Kate collaborating on a music project and they'll be performing at Christmas Carol concert that will take place on December the 15th. During a Christmas concert that was broadcast on ITV in the UK last night, Kate Middleton accompanied Scottish singer-songwriter Tom Walker on piano when he performed a new song, For Those Who Can't Be Here, at Westminster Abbey. The pairing came about after Walker performed at a charity event that the Duchess was attending, when he was later asked to play at the carol service, Royal Carols Together at Christmas. He offered to perform a previously unheard song, but didn't anticipate who would be joining him. So I sent the song over to the team and they absolutely loved it, and then a week later they came back and said, uh, would it be alright if the Duchess played along with you? Walker told the BBC in an interview, and I was like, what? Walker and the Duchess got to work, rehearsing for some weeks. She picked it up so well, it's really not easy to go from not playing with other musicians for like 10 years, to jumping straight in with like a whole band you've never met, and a camera crew, doing live takes that's being filmed in Westminster Abbey. So I thought it just went so well, said Walker. She's a very talented musician. Ahead of the performance, Walker didn't disclose his famous bandmate to anyone, even keeping it a secret from his mum. She was in floods of tears watching it on the telly, he said. It was beautiful. In other news, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's popularity in Britain plunged as their Netflix documentary series was released, according to a YouGov poll. Just one third of Britons, 33%, now hold a positive view of Prince Harry, while 3 in 5, or 59%, hold a negative opinion of him. It represents a 13-point drop since November, his joint lowest score since Yuga began tracking royal favourability in 2011. Meanwhile, almost two-thirds of the public hold a negative opinion of the Duchess, representing a 7-point drop since November. Yuga have polled 1,677 adults between Wednesday and Thursday last week. The first three episodes of the Sussex's Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan were released last Thursday, following a week of debate inspired by the release of two dramatic trailers. In it, the Duke and Duchess criticise members of their family, including the formality of the Prince and Princess of Wales. Royal sources accused the programme of aiming a direct hit on the legacy of Queen Elizabeth II after the Commonwealth was described as Empire 2.0. One warned it was deeply offensive to a memory following decades of work to lead the Commonwealth into a new era. A trailer for the second half of the series, which will be released on Thursday, suggests that the final three episodes will be far more incendiary as the Duke claims that they were happy to lie to protect William, but not himself and Meghan. The trailer doesn't specify who they were, but his words are accompanied by an image of Buckingham Palace. One version of the trailer carried subtitles suggesting that the Duke had actually accused the British media of lying, raising the prospect that his words were edited to remove the context. Netflix declined to shed any light on the Duke's comment, while sources close to the Sussexes insisted that would all become clear when the full episode airs.